Hello friends. Today I would like to show you my new improved method. How to grow huge adeniums, huge desert roses, by growing them first in the ground and then transplanting them by cutting off the thick roots that appear, that, that get created by the plant growing the easy way in the ground, where you don't need to water or nothing. Um, originally, I was saying that uh, you grow it in the ground, then you cut the roots and you have to dry them well, and uh, then, uh, look how big it is, with a ruler you can see, right, or with my hand, see? Um, you dry the cut roots well and then you plant it for a while in uh, perlite so that um, there wouldn't be rot and once the roots develop then you put it into regular growing medium. The problem with my original method was, not a big problem, but a problem, is that as the root dried, here and there, instead of drying, it started to rot. And so I was telling you, if you saw my older videos, that, that the rotten part has to be cut and re-dried, and if new uh, appears recut and re-dried, well, I am about to tell you about a way easier way than that. Look at how huge plant grown originally in the ground. Okay, so what I do now is I dry the thick cut roots and uh, if on some of the cut rot instead of dryness appear, I just ignore it. I used to be afraid of to ignoring it. I thought that the whole plant would then rot, but no. As long as you keep it away, of course, from rain and in a place where the air circulates, uh, it would be mushy-mushy till, till certain amount, then it'll kind of inside heal, then the rotten part will dry, and then you just peel that dried what used to be rotten part. Voila, it healed all by itself. Magic, magic, unbelievable. You see, ready to be planted, first in perlite, of course, and uh, the roots will appear just as well as on some other cuts where they didn't rot, they just dried. Well, it's okay if they rot because you just pull it out and replant it. This one is not that easy to pull out completely because this is still not dry, it's wet. Has to wait another week or whatever long it takes, then I'll pull this rest of the out. Then it'll be ready for planting in a big container. At first in perlite, and so you get something really beautiful. Actually, it's starting to have even flower buds. Amazing! Okie dokie artichoke. 
um, I wish you have a beautiful day and health and happiness and success in everything that you want to succeed in if one of those things on your list is how to grow adeniums then I have plenty videos that you can watch how I'm doing it okie dokie goodbye